Hello? Yes, ma'am. It's Detective Gomez. I'm tracking him on the computer right now with the GPS tracker, and I'm heading out right now to go see what he's doing. Hello, I'm Detective Gomez. Welcome to Trackers. As a private eye, my job is to track down people 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you think you can hide, don't do it. Remember, I'll always see you before you see me. Stay tuned. Welcome to Tracker. So this week I'm tracking out this guy who's getting ready to have a child, but he doesn't know it yet. My client says that she had sex with him about eight months ago and been trying to get a hold of him. Can't seem to find him. I did a little research last night. I think I found him. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Approaching the apartment complex, turning in. See if this guy's in here. Don't you just love it when gates are open? It makes my job so much easier. Okay, according to the directions, should be down here towards the end of his apartment. Hopefully he'll be here. But it's a quarantine. Maybe he's being quarantined right now, right? So maybe he's at home. I hope he is. That looks like his building number. Let's go in here and check this out. Uh, Vanessa? Yes. Yeah, it's Detective Gomez. I think I found Randy uh, at an uh -huh. apartment complex over here off of it's an Interstate 30. Um, how far are you away from that? Um, it should take me about 20 minutes to get there. All right. Why don't you start heading this way? Uh, you said he had tattoos on both arms, right? Yes. Okay. He's got like a little goatee? Yes. Yeah. That's I, him. Yeah. I just saw him. I just saw him. Okay. Here's the deal. I'm going to go knock on the door. So I'm, see if I can get him to come out. Go ahead and head this way. Park next to my car. It's down here on the right-hand side at the end of the apartment complex, okay? All right? Okay. All right, I'll see you okay. a little bit. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to go knock on this door. Let's see if we can get this guy to answer it and come on out and talk to this woman who's getting ready to have his child. Stay tuned.
Okay. All right. How you feel? I feel better. Feel better? Mm -hmm. Got some answers today? A little relieved, yes. Yeah? You know, these kind of cases are always kind of tough because you never know if the address that they have for this person is actually a good one. But today, when I saw him take out the trash, I called you, we were able to verify that was him, and uh, I had an apartment number for him, knocked on the door, and the good thing is, he was pretty nice about it. He came out and talked, and uh, was able to give you some answers you wanted, right? You got everything answered that you wanted? Anything? Yes, he gave uh, me some answers. I'm hoping he follows through with everything. So. Okay. When he asked about the DNA test, what do you think about that? Um, it hurt me a little bit, but... I know this baby's his. Okay. I, I know for, there's no doubt that okay. this baby is, it's his. Oh, it's his baby for sure? Yes. Okay. Well, the good thing is they were both attracted to each other back then, right? Yeah. So hopefully maybe now, um, after the baby's born, y'all can work things out and maybe uh, rekindles y'all's attraction for each other and maybe work out a relationship. Yeah. Um, I'm glad we're doing it now too, so that way he won't have no doubt after the baby's born, after like six months, he won't come up saying is this my child or not but I'm glad he's willing to do the DNA test now yeah I think it's very important also because with a DNA test they'll be 100% sure that he is the father yes yes and make him feel better about it and uh, you'll feel better about it and, and we're all adults here you know mm -hmm. and it's a good way to, to even things out with both of y'all and and work things out yes Okay. Okay. So most important thing is I'm just glad you're able to get the answers you wanted today. And that's the most important thing because I've been working on this case for a little bit. I found an address and, you know, he came out and talked to you. And I, and I, I think as a man, I really appreciate that because some guys don't. Some guys have children, get, get women pregnant, and, you know, the child has to grow by themselves. Yes. And he knows what that's like because he talked about that. Mm -hmm. And you don't want your child to grow up alone. No. I don't. But he clearly said he's going to be there for you and uh, doctor's visits and everything else you need. Okay. All right. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. And I'm glad we were able to get you some results today. Okay? Okay. All right. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, Vanessa, take care. And the most important thing is you got my number. If you need me, call me again. I'll be glad to help you out. Uh, but I think this guy is a good guy. And the most important thing is he stepped up to the plate. And he's going to be here. And he's willing to help you with whatever you need. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, well, take care, uh, stay in touch, and then um, call me again if you need me, okay? Uh, okay. Right, take care. Thank you. So that's a wrap. We we're able to find Randy, the father of her child, and Vanessa is very happy today. She was able to get some answers that she needed. So hopefully they can work things out in the future for the newborn child. All right, I'll see you next time on Trackers. And remember, I'll always see you before you see me. I'll see you next time.